I'm Tony Fast, and my family has been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Moving time. Now this is just a little bit ridiculous. We've got the conditioner set as wide as it'll go. This is down on the custom job, by the way. So we'll let these sit for a few days and flip them, and hopefully they'll dry out by the weekend so we can start bailing where we started here. Unreal alfalfa crop down here. All right, all of our hay is put up. Now we're heading down to that custom job where the swather uh, was cutting those huge alfalfa windrows. Um, about 60 miles from here, so. I'll take it out of the tractor. Dad and Hayden are going to bring the service truck and the fire truck along. And uh, Rob's down there swapping. So he uh, has been putting in some long, long hours down there. Last night I went down and let him go home early and swap till pretty late until it got too tough out. The hay is just so big down there. So pretty slow going. But uh, yeah, the first stuff is ready to bail. We sloughed on Monday, and it's Saturday. So here we go. <laughs> Well, I don't see anything obviously wrong, so I guess you try and do what you do with all computers that don't work, right? Turn it off. Turn it back on and try it. What well, worked? The bail. Well, I would have thought that I would have tied a bail by now. Oh, there it goes. That would have been interesting, like a 20 foot long bail just dragging back there. No alarm that time. Must be good to go. We've been bailing here for a couple hours. And it looks like this is going to be around four and a half to five bales per acre. Really, really big up on the ground. So, we'll find out. Probably about, I don't know. 40 acres in to 900 here, so hard to get a good estimate yet, but it's going to be big.
just uh, kind of caught up on what was ready to bale and uh, starting to get a little bit uh, higher moisture than we, uh, the higher range. It wasn't higher than we wanted yet, but it was getting close. So we blew off the baler, got it all kind of cleaned up and ready uh, for next week and uh, sent the guys home. They've been working hard this week, so I figured I'd hop on the swath for a couple more hours yet and uh, see what we get done. We've got to go about another, I don't know, half mile that way, and we'll be done. So, Monday we should finish up. Sure wish I would have packed more lunch. Oh, some flower seeds. Look at that. Let's go hang again. Hi Rob! Nothing that interesting going on. Just bailing. Just bailing. Everyone's got that is hay season over yet look this morning. Well, we are all done swathing down here on this job. Uh, we got a buddy back home that's gonna rent the swather to cut some of his ground yet. So we are on the move. Hayden's bailing, Rob's flagging and pulling the header for me, so we're gonna go uh, get this moved and on to other things. Yeah, Tony, you're good to come down. Okay, I'm about a half mile behind you. Look at them bucks. Well, heading back to the hay fields. We uh, shut down during the day yesterday because it was getting pretty dry and crispy. Um, the guy we're hand for said, just bail during the day, I don't care, just get it done. But uh, it was pretty hot yesterday, so we shut down. Now I'm heading out and uh, some showers coming. Hopefully we can dodge those. But uh, yeah, the Combines are getting pretty close to ready. Nick and Dad have been working on those back at home, and they also uh, are getting the spray ready to go. We've got some weeds we need to take care of in some fields before harvest, and so they're gonna hopefully get started on that this morning. And yeah, looking like uh, wheat harvest and peas, pea harvest is gonna be here within a week. So we gotta get this hand done, and. Uh, get some equipment moved back home so we can start combining. Such a beautiful morning. No complaints here. Yep, great, amazing. Bailing's going good, except for sprinkles. Come on, sprinkles, just gonna bail. No bales out here though. Quite the crop, averaging right at five bales per acre. Shut down. Well, just leaving the farm. Uh, got the rained out yesterday and did not dry out enough to bale last night yet. So came home last night and actually got a good night's rest. So that was good. Um, got a bale back there. Uh, we're going to go drop that off at uh, Bill's place. He has a scale there and it's his hay that we're uh, doing the hand for. So I'm curious what the bales weigh. And uh, something kind of cool showed up yesterday. So I'll get back to the field. I'll show you what that all is and, and go over that. There it is. Another baler demo. This is a Case H LB 434 XL. Extra long chamber, harder bales, heavier bales. So overall, this baler is very similar to our baler back there. It, uh, same, same gearbox setup, same drives to the nodders. All that stuff is very similar. Um, this baler, however, has a lot more capacity. They sped up the gearbox on this one, so it runs like 46 strokes a minute or something like that on the plunger. So more strokes, more flakes you can shove in there quicker, the faster you can be able to bail. 
the little bit that we have ran it so far seems like it's a couple miles an hour faster than that one which is kind of what we're after we want to speed up our uh our time as much as we can on bailing no reason to upgrade balers if we can't uh be more efficient but uh we're gonna run it here for a couple days see how we like it um the demo is from border plains equipment they're our case dealer we buy all of our case equipment from i wanted them to bring me a baler earlier in the year i told them i was interested in one they found this one kind of late in the season from another dealer transferred it up and uh gonna try it out a little bit i have ran it i really like it it seems a lot quicker there's a few upgrades on the pickup uh, that lifts the, lifts the uh, window off the ground and feeds it into the baler. That's, I think that's one of the main parts where it's really sped up the, this baler compared to the old one. Not sure on weights comparable from one baler to the other one if this one, how much heavier of a bale this one will make, but we will definitely check that out. As well as that John Deere. We will want to, we want to get some of those bales weighed too and see how that one compares to ours on the weights. I know this one builds a harder bale. It's harder to stick the moisture probe in already. Anyways, um, we're going to start baling this evening again when we get some dew and it's getting really hot out now so we did a little bit of baling today while there was still a little rain moisture in the windrow. Now that's all dried out. So the tractor from that baler is over stacking hay right now and uh, I got to run home for a little while and I will be back later. It's about 10.30. Time to go make some bales. The uh, humidity is coming up so it should be perfect. I'd say this uh, new baler's got some more capacity than the old one. Just walking away from them. Until about four o'clock this morning, um, had a breakdown. A spring broke on the old baler. We were able to uh, use the torch to heat it up and get it uh, another hook bent in the end of it. Uh, by the time we were done with that, though, the humidity was high enough that our moisture went up in the uh, hay. So we uh, shut down till about nine o'clock, and uh, it's. Getting close to 11 here now. We're going to be all done here in a little bit. We're just running out of uh, moisture again, so uh, make it a little more dust than we want to make. So that's what happened overnight, and uh, guess we'll see about uh, how much more we do today. We'll kind of keep checking some stuff, and maybe we'll do a little more or not. So that's that. It's nap time again. Baling's not done. Now it's time to go combine it. Number two is ready. Finishing up a little bit on number one. Grain cart, track is ready to go. Truck's ready to go. Auger truck is coming here. It's time to go combine peas tomorrow. And bale. And combine peas and then bale and then combine peas and bale at night. And then we'll catch up on sleep like September. The only thing I see is winter wheat in September. October. October's hunting season. When it snows, we'll catch up on the slate. Oh, they got all green when it snows. It's time to go combine it. First unload, harvest 19. We're back bailing in the middle of the day. Uh, it is Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Sunday night, there's like six tenths of rain down here. That shut us down for bailing at all that night, as well as all day Monday and Monday night. So, combines are running at home, cutting peas, and we're bailing. Whoa, that was a big bunch. We're good. Um, yeah, anyways, bailing should be done by this time tomorrow, I hope. We do need to get one of these tractors home to run the conveyor for unloading the trucks at home. So, and we also need to stack bales down here and a bunch of other stuff mixing around, but we're bailing right now. The 
this hay did get some rain on it. It's not super quality anymore, so it's pretty striped bales. So it's uh, the way it goes. Uh, mercies of the rain and weather and all that, and uh, got a little rain on this, so it took some of the quality away. But uh, got to get done. I just got to learn on my phone that uh, eight o'clock tonight we could have a thunderstorm. So uh, we'll make hay while the sun shines, I guess. Here's the difference 18 years of technology makes in a square baler. We started this pass at the same time. And I'm running eight miles an hour and I bet you he's running four. It's a hay heat machine, that's for sure. I just turned around on the other end of the field and there comes the baler about a half a mile behind me. Still bailing. Running into some low spots that are kind of getting wet, so we're shutting down on this pass for the night. A pretty good run in today. About seven to 800 bales, I think, so shouldn't have too much left here to finish up. <laughs> 